Hey YouTube, what's going on? I'm Greg. Welcome to my machine shop. Today we're going to try to finish up our sump. In today's video we're going to finish off the machining of the sump. Here we're going to emphasize manual machining. I will have a separate video on CNC machining the sump as it will emphasize the work done on the computer preparing the tool paths. First, we'll address the inside of the sump where we'll rough out most of the material with a drill bit, then we'll do the fining machining with an end mill. Looking at the print, I decided to drill six 5 8 inch holes, seven tenths of an inch apart, and one and a quarter inch deep. I used my edge finder to set the XY axis of the mill to the very center of the part. Then I used an end mill to flatten an area for the drilling operations because I didn't want to be drilling on a curved surface. I started with a spot drill and drilled the initial hole with a 3 8 inch drill bit. I followed up with a 5 8 inch drill bit and finally I squared off the hole with a roughing end mill. After we rough out the inside of our sump, we can do the finish machining, which is shown on sheet four of four. There's a three step pattern, one, two, three, and here are the dimensions. And it's symmetrical, so if the dimensions are centered. So go ahead and machine that material out of there. But before we do the finishing machining on the mill, let's go back and look at the print and identify the critical dimensions. Looking at the cross section, the dimension at the very top, two and an eighth of an inch, is important because if it's too small, we won't clear the spinning crankshaft. If it's too wide, we reduce our crankshaft sump mating surface and could even break through the wall. Looking at the end-to-end -end dimension, we need to make sure we don't overshoot our 0 .406 dimension as the end walls of the sump will interfere with the crankshaft. The 2.313 distance between the internal sump walls is a little less critical. We could overshoot this a little bit because we will make our crankshaft fit with the proper in-play between our bearings. For the machine the outside of the sump, there's two functional features. One of them is the oil drain plug hole, which goes here. And the other is a oil pickup hole, which goes on the left side of the sump, about here. Then, other than that, there's just a few cosmetic features. The next thing we want to do is machine a large bevel into the lower corners of the sump, removing the material like so. What I would do is I would measure the 1.1 inch down from the top, make a scribe line on the side, Okay, I'm going to do better than that. Then set our protractor to 60 degrees. Set that on here. Line that up with our line. Scribe this. Now what we can do is we can set this in the mill with this level. Measure off the top of the vise like this, then set this onto the vise jaw. And then machine down to this line here and take that whole thing off. I'm going to pause here and add a word of caution. Mark your sump front, back, left, and right. When we cut these bevels, we want to make sure we cut the proper side because the bearing holder ends have already been machined. And we don't want to have to flip end to end because we machined the wrong side of the sump. On the other side, we've got this hole for our oil pickup, so our bevels are interrupted by a boss. This scribe mark here. But we also need to scribe these two lines here, which are keep outs. 656. Six. Scribe that. And then add half of an inch to that which would be 1.156. Describe that. Double check that, that looks good. And then we will only machine this corner off and this corner off. Our hole will be centered here. And then we can use our file um, to maybe, we could take some machine material off down here and then just kind of clean this up and round off these surfaces. The other feature that we that again is also optional is to cut these cut this in here to a 183 leave 183 
inches of material on the top. We have an eighth inch radius on these shoulders, so these features are easy to make with a quarter inch end mill. We'll bring it straight in, cut over, and then bring it straight out, resulting in the shape of this feature. And it's, it's kind of simulates, kind of simulates the look here of this. We just remove a little, this little bit of material in here, here, and here. Again, all of these features are optional. So this right here is a sump that a friend loaned me. I'm not going to machine it because uh, he's manual machining his engine. Um, like I said, I'm going to be using the my CNC router to finish the uh, my sump. There's one last feature we can manually machine. You'll notice in this picture that the oil drain plug is through a boss that's raised a sixteenth of an inch. We can machine away the rest of the material leaving this sixteenth of an inch boss on the bottom of our sump. Again, this is purely optional. Hope that's clarification enough for you to finish your sump. I'm Greg. Thanks for visiting me in my machine shop. Until next time, take care.